On the international front, Houthi rebels vowed a major retaliation for Israel's earlier strike on a port in Yemen, further escalating tensions in the region amid months of conflict in Gaza. Cha Yun Kyung has more. Houthi militants vowed revenge attacks on Israel after the latter's fighter jets struck Houthi targets near Yemen's Hodeida port on Saturday, killing at least three people and wounding 87. The leader of the Houthis, Abdul Malik al Houthi, warned that the airstrike will lead to more attacks on Israel, such as the one on Tel Aviv. Yahya Sari, the spokesperson for the Houthis, said that a huge response against Israel was inevitable. On Sunday, the Israeli military said that it intercepted a missile fired from Yemen after Houthis claimed to have launched ballistic missiles against Eilat, the southernmost city in Israel. Yoav Gallant, the Israeli Minister of Defense, warned of further operations if the Houthis dare to attack Israel. Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs expressed concerns over Israel's airstrike on Hodeida, which it stated was likely to raise tensions within the area and stop movements to end the war in Gaza. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will send a delegation for hostage deal talks on Thursday, according to Reuters on Sunday local time. A ceasefire effort and hostage negotiations have been led by Qatar and Egypt up to now. Hamas accused Netanyahu of placing obstacles to a truce as talks on the hostages release have made no progress, regardless of Hamas attempts this month for further negotiations. In the meantime, U.S. President Joe Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will discuss ways to reach a deal on a ceasefire in Gaza and the return of the hostages during their meeting on Tuesday. Cha Yong-gyeon, Arirang News.